number one what God wants to give us is I am God. I am doing this. I am allowing this to happen. Right? So the Israelites so on the day of the Passover right, on the Passover They tell them to kill them. Right? On, the, on, the, on the door frame, you have to put the blood of the lamb. And in each house with the blood of the lamb, has the blood. When the angel of death comes, they, he passes it over. But if there's a house with no blood on it, then everybody has to die. While all the Egyptians are dying, they can be right or wrong. Chapter 12, ท่านที่เสนอเขียนตู้เสร็จมาปัจจัยในชั้น 12 ข้อที่ตรงนี้เรียนพาระมีนี่ตู้อีจูมยาเอกตู้จูมยาโรดีท่าจะอยู่อเตกองกินโตอิงเดอิมยามิชีโตจาเอกตู้ปีไหนจี
I want to speak about the Passover so many times. So actually the Passover is actually a lot of change. God, he said that I am that I am. And he says, I will set things apart. He says, I will give them the heart. And God, he prepared the, the Passover. So after the Passover, your life that you're living is, is a life that God has prepared for you. So after the Passover, it shows what kind of life you're living with the guidance of the Spirit. So if you look at the Israelites, the thing is, once they're done with the, uh, the Passover, what did they do? Just like how God has spoken through Moses, how God has commanded to Moses, to do it. So what kind of person gains the most? What kind of person gains the least? What kind of person gets nothing? It depends on what? How much do you believe? But what is God saying? According to what God is saying, the person who believes and moves forward, can they change or not? They can change. So when I read the Bible, so what person, what one person said, was, as oh God told them to ask for the gold and the silver. Oh, maybe you know God, He told them to get these things because if they get hungry, they can you know buy something. <laughs> so God asked them to buy uh, get the gold <laughs> so they can buy food on the on the journey. <laughs> so <laughs> people, you know, some people may think this is true. <laughs> it's it natural, right? <laughs> <laughs> The temple is very precious. It's made of a lot of things. Right? In order to create the temple that represents Jesus Christ, that's why God made them take the golden sword. So it is for the gospel. If, because it is for the gospel, what did God do? That means God already uh, softened the heart of the Egyptians, so they gave. But there are some people who ask for a little bit. There might be people who didn't ask at all. Will you ask or not? I don't know. You think everyone will ask? I don't think so. So they know what you In our church, if you look. Oh, go to the, the funeral home. What do you have to do? Go rob the funeral home. It's the same thing. So what's the goal? Oh, in these times of sadness. Well, if you read the Bible, everything you ask the heart God already gave this heart to the Egyptians. So what is important? God already gave him the heart. Then what is important? God is important. How about us? On our side, if you ask what is important, we should have to go forward knowing that God has prepared the heart for them. This time you know that in the, in the, in the pastor's meeting, what Pastor Jungkook Park said was, what Pastor Song, he just said it again. Do you know what kind of people we are? We missionaries. What are we dissembled to? 
We're just like the the post. Uh, FedEx here. Yeah. There's FedEx. UPS here. There's UPS. USPS. There's yeah. USPS. Amazon here. There's Amazon. Who about Bahamiale? So now what is there a lot of? If you order things. Amazon in Miaila. Amazon they they ship a lot of the things. A chaco ni ni le Miaila. There's also a lot of other companies. Yeah. DPC pure do abale mo thoro. So shipping do abale. Pane le. The sayo ga ni loader loader yasi ni DPC thok jar abale thale. ลาเนาะเดทเทคเดทิงส์ฟรอมเดแฟคทอรี่ไปเดทฟรอมดีผู้ยังไม่เนี่ยตัวผู้เดทเจสต์ชิปไปทูเดเพอร์เซนต์
go out all day. So us. Tahun itu kuku, tahun you young man. We think we have to take responsibility for something. Tiba. Let's look at it. Tiada yang pilih ni, di sini kau tak pilih. I said God gives you the heart to give. Ane ah, wanda ayah ni terdoa orang. Aku ayah ni ayah lah ni dia. Oh, they say oh, I go out. Oh, mana ni ni lah. Ni belajar ni. How much did you get? She just, she, 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 how many cares? Ah, you're so happy. If people gain something, they're very happy. Right? Because you don't have anything, you're not very happy. You don't have anything to give. You have nothing that you can receive. You have nothing to say. And you have nothing to be happy about. So the Israelites, Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, God gave it to me. Oh, how much did you get? Oh, I mean, I got like 50 pieces. Why did you get 50 pieces? So God said, go out and uh, receive, so I went to 10 houses. Did God say you can't go to 10 houses? God said, go to your neighbors. You can ask for as much as you want. So how much did he receive? He got like five pieces. He got like fifty pieces. But whatever it is, you're happy. That's your happy. And for those people, and for the Egyptians, God gives them the heart of jealousy. And more than this, as we read chapter 13, God gives them the heart of jealousy. ไปเลยอารมณ์พันธ์ยังไงอิตริลันดูรู้กูพารอบีเองรู้ตัวนับพิลิตีพีกูชาวตัวลันดีพยังตัวเลยทุลันพิพยาร์เห็นสาวมง
For Pharaoh was saying to the children of Israel, they are bewildered by the land, the wilderness has closed them in. What does it say? It says the wilderness has closed them in. So what's in front of them? There's a sea, and behind them, there's the army. So how many chariots? 600? And foot soldiers. They have a lot of soldiers. So who's going to see them first? So the people in the back. So Boya. These people, they're following us to kill us. You know, he's going to start pushing people, go forward, go forward. The people in the front, the people in the front are saying, we only have the ocean in front of us, why should we go forward? So the back and the, the front, they're going to fight back. But the, so the back wants to go back. The front wants to go back. So what happens is, and when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, so they were very afraid, and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. So crying out to the Lord, is it a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. But why did they call them? Because they were so afraid. Right? So is this a good thing or a bad thing? Korea So after, even though they're crying them, crying after God. But in this situation, it is not a good thing. So what I'm trying to say is, when you see people marching towards you to kill you, you they're very scared. So we had the pandemic. Pandemic. So we had the pandemic. I don't know what I had to do. Right. I didn't know how to continue. I didn't know how to live the life of the children. Oh, it's just the end of time. There's nobody's outside. But at that time, the church, I was able to preach the gospel. Look at the church. Even before the pandemic and after the pandemic, we preached the gospel even more during the pandemic. And we continually did Bible seminars. And remember when we think there is the situation is getting better because of COVID. There is the military coup. And in Myanmar, you didn't know what to do at this time. But to the church, very strongly we preach the gospel. There's nobody else who did it like us. And people they say, oh, it's the pandemic, so they stop preaching the gospel. Oh, because there's a military coup, we're going to stop preaching the Because of the military coup, this is a big problem. And they think, oh, how should we bring this government down? But in between all of this, who is thinking to preach the gospel? I'm not saying the military is good. So what people are we? Delivery men. We're delivery men. Because we believe that the gospel can change everything. So we preach the gospel. That you know we can do this. This is because we have a servant of God. We have a church that only establishes the word of God. If you look at if we if we say how we want to, eighty percent. If you look at the big chain churches, what do they try to support? They try to spread, you know, preaching the gospel and the word of God. Or are they preaching to fight back? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But how do 
how many years have we done this in our country? And then, any option, we need the 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 cool gear and gear to buy it. So what else can save another soul? Why you? There's nothing else. So you need to buy it. Option is to load it, load it. So people on the outside doing what they do. So they don't have to do it. But the people in our church. But they don't care. Who young people do? Who care? Who are the people? We say we are the children of God. We say we believe in God. But oh man, so what do you have to do? Who care? Who are the people? Who are the people? Is it to save a life or is it to end the life? It is to save lives. It is the will of God. This country it is for the will of God. Only God can change this. But people try to change the country. But people try to change the country. So what happens? So there is more wars. If people try to change. More people will die. But if God allows you to change, you can change very easily. So us who believe God, you have to look for God and ask for help. God, you can change it. Even if you can't change it, in the heart of these people, if you work inside of their hearts, then is it easy for change? The country can change. The people can change. If God does it, if God changes it, so our focus. So what we have to do? It is important if we know if God will. If we believe in God or not. So if you look at everything that Jesus does, regardless of the situation, we preach the gospel. 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 Regardless of the situation, we Gospel. Our church. Who does it? Is there people doing Bible studies? Who's doing camps at this time? Let me ask you. In Burma. You think there are people? You think people are doing this? It's only our church. Because there are people who are accepting the word of God. There is a servant of God who is living according to the will of God. But if you look at the church, there are some brothers and sisters. There are a lot of brothers and sisters. Oh, pastor, he's not religious. So how is he going to understand? So what are they doing? Let me ask you. Because you're Burmese. So you're thinking for the the the, the souls of the Burmese people. And, and they try to leave their country. So you're comfortable. Right? Oh, because pastor's Korean. Doesn't mean Babylon. Then why don't you do something in Burma? Why are you coming to America? So you, say you, say you say they only think about Burma. But later you end up in America. And you think you're thinking about the hearts and souls of the Burmese people. You know what I'm talking about, right? Why? Because I want to read the Bible. So what I see is. In the morning, I said this. How many people are coming to the church? More than that. If there is only one person who learns spiritual life after receiving salvation, if there is only one person who learns spiritual life after receiving salvation, if there is only one person who learns spiritual life after receiving salvation, if there is only one person who learns spiritual life after receiving salvation, if there is only one person who learns spiritual life after receiving salvation, Egypt and how God has saved them. Mama Milo ya. Can they not remember that? Ah, piyani ya. Haru ne tu shi de no. Oh, God is with us. Di lo chini mi ya piyani kinga alu lo do me no. In this situation, God is going to work. Alu piyani. The people here. What do you say there? You know who's going to say that? Piyani ya seko la kan moje te abe shi. Only one person who accepts the heart of God. Who accepts the heart of God? Don't be scared. There's nothing to worry about. Piyani ya kedi jingo jiba alu. Look at the salvation of God. Who said that? Only one person who learned it. So learning faith, learning spiritual life, doesn't matter if you know how to do anything else. Oh, 
only God will only send you to the wilderness. Yeah, because we receive salvation. Oh, you will get more comfortable. It doesn't work like that. Because nobody looks for God when they are comfortable. Even though God is giving you the problems, but God doesn't want you to experience these problems. God doesn't want us to fall into the difficulties. These difficulties and burdens are for you to find God. But even though you have difficulties and problems during this time, to God, does God, God, God doesn't look for people. And He starts to blame them. So the people in the front, oh, I cannot see it. This is the end. I cannot move forward. The people in the back, oh, they're following us. We're going to die. And the people in the middle, they look to the front, they look to the back. And, the front, the back. and it's like the person, Oh, God has already killed them. Oh, they're so happy in their singing. So they're happy in their singing. And they have two pages of the song. But nobody's going to sing it. Why? Because on the third day, if you read here, in verse 17, Chapter 17, verse 1 and 2. Then all the congregation of the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of sin according to the commandment of the Lord and camped in Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people contended with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. So Moses said to them, Why do you contend with me? Why do you tempt the Lord? So let's look at three. And the people thirsted there for water, and the people complained against Moses and said, Why is it you have brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? Dima! So if something happens, so you know what follows? Oh, we should have been slaves in Egypt. Why did you bring us out of Egypt? So you think you were happy as a slave in Egypt? Huh? So that Egypt it shows flesh. Shows flesh. You think it's very fun becoming a slave to your flesh? So just like as how your flesh thinks. Just as how your flesh thinks. The flesh only causes you to sin. So this life where you sin, commit sin, you live. You think you're happy? In the end, what happens? This person causes this a lot of sin. So the flesh, so the flesh, where is it guiding you? Where is it guiding you? It's guiding you to a place where you sin. It forces you to sin. The lustful heart, the heart to hate, the heart to have jealousy, the heart to compare each other. So, so your flesh is what gives you. This it makes you commit sin. And then it makes you realize your sin. And then you go to hell. So a person who is a slave to the flesh, what do you have? You only commit sin. There's nothing good. God has allowed to save you from a place of your flesh. And God wants to guide you through Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. Because a life that is led by Jesus Christ the people, whatever they think of, whatever they see in their flesh, they just want to follow ah, it. Yeah. If something doesn't match with their heart, yeah. oh, I want to go back to Egypt. Yeah. If something is uncomfortable, yeah. yeah. there's difficulty in the church. Oh, I want to go back to Egypt. I want to be a slave. 
Oh, the church is always getting the offering. How much are you actually paying? Oh, you're always paying the offering. Oh, we always have camps. How many times have you actually attended? Oh, it's better if I go back to Egypt. To do that. It's the same. Oh, no. You're going back to your place. Oh, so I can oh, use whatever I want. I'll use whatever I want to use. Oh, for my family. Oh, for my son. Oh, for my son. So where do people want to go? Go on. Place where you think you are free. So only the flesh. So for your flesh to be comfortable. You think are you actually you have to live comfortably in Egypt? Oh, you have to live comfortably in Egypt. 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 He's a, a gambling addict. So these are things that your flesh is asking. You know, you do these uh, gambling and you do these things because you think you're, you're going to be happy. But are you actually happy? But isn't there a time when you feel the Oh, I'm gambling because I want to. I'm drinking because I want to. But never once. You haven't realized I'm this type of person. I'm a useless person. You ever thought like that? Oh, you think, oh, I'm so happy, I'm drinking, I'm drinking alcohol, I'm so happy. You think that you're drinking because you're, you're, you want Can you say that? Because you want to cut, cut off the alcohol. But you can't stop. Oh, you know, you need to stop gambling. But you cannot stop it. Right? So this is what death is. Your flesh, what it does. Your flesh is. Oh, try it. You might be happy. Then what happens? Even though you want to stop, you cannot stop. So I told Sister Esther. Church. You don't have to go. You don't have to go. Then what happens? Even though if you want to go, there will be a time where you cannot go. Because people follow, you know, oh, I can follow my flesh, I can follow my flesh. In the end, even if you want to change, you cannot change anymore. Satan, what are you doing? Your type of person. Why would you go back? If you go back, you will lose face. It's embarrassing. And then what happens? It's your ego. Living under the bridge is better? Do you think he'll think like that? Everybody thinks like this. Even if you give them a little bit of, if you give them a little bit of difficulty. Oh, because there's no water. Just now. 
God split the ocean, the sea in half between you and you walked. How many days did it last? It was three days. After three days because there was no water. What happened? Moses, we don't have water. You think they said that? No, it says he contended with him. He tried to fight him. God is strange. Without a, no, we don't have water. Then I'll just say, "Don't drink." That's what I want to tell them. God, He gave them water, right? He gave them water. What type of water? It was bitter water. People, if they're not comfortable. If they don't match, it doesn't match with their heart. Oh, I want to go back to Egypt. I'll live however I want. So God didn't prepare things for you to live however you want. Right? So Egypt doesn't exist anymore. Right? For these people. Egypt is not a place for them to go back to. The flesh, the flesh is death. So I'll go back to my flesh. I'll be a slave to my flesh. These people are very ignorant. So if you go to Jose, Jose, จะเอาหลังเลยฟงเนี่ยจะตุ้มหลังเลยอ่ะจะเอาหลังมาสิแต่มาหาวมากูอยากเนี่ยสักคนเขาเชื่อในกติจะเอาสิเดี๋ยว
Iniakan? Says your last place was better than now. Does the Bible lie to you? The Bible never lies. So you have nothing to contribute. So you can't have anything to open. You know they want to work, they cannot work. They go to church. Oh, they read the Bible. Oh, they clean. But for sure, you go outside, that's high living. Try living according to your flesh. What you will realize is with the church and the word, the life that you're living inside the church is so good. Your flesh, even if you're a little bit uncomfortable, what happened? Oh, why would you give oh, Why are we always doing church? Why do you have to always go to church? I'll just live how I want. This is happier for me. This is better for me. This is more free. If you're like this, that the Bible will not say your last place was better than now. The Bible says it is better than now. Because the life that you're living now, because you cannot admit it. Okay, you see the life you are living right now through your flesh is better than before that you are lying. What the Bible shows us is more than living for your flesh. Living the life that the church has prepared for you is better. This is a life where God wants you to uh, wants you to live. I said this last week. Would Jesus Christ mind for your eating with Jesus Christ? What is the Bible saying? That is the important thing. And Martha? ลงช่วงนี้เหรอเช็คดีเช็คดีเช็คลงช่วยเช็คมุมาลงช่วงนี้เหรอเลยเซอร์วิ่งทรายเช็คเซอร์วิ่งชูอิสบิซี่ยิ
Things that give us more of your flesh. Voilà. Par le ciel. For what's there? Oh, we chung on there. And the bull we see near it. And the more trapped, it's more poor. Regarde. Oh. Et tu vas. 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 God is guiding us. God is with us. So look at your Bible. Look at Jesus. Don't even die. And just like, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Look at the salvation of God. Right? It's important to say it like this. If you, you have to be able to say it like this. You have to be able to say it like this. You have to be able to say it like this. You have to be able to say it like this. God has already prepared it for no, you. Baby. God has prepared everything for you. Instead of following the flesh like Satan has prepared for you, Egypt is not a place you have to go to. The flesh is not where you're supposed to go to. This place will only trap you. It is only death. And you realize that. Life that the church has prepared for you. You have to live that life. What do we have to do? Like I said, we have to.